What's good everybody ropes? I decided to make a part two to the video I put up the other day regarding Floyd Mayweather shouldn't fight Canelo Alvarez because I confused a few people with the point that I was trying to make. You know, you have um, some people out there that are not too bright. So uh, let me clarify myself and revisit the points that I was trying to make. Now, I was reading the comments in the comment section and, you know, there was a couple of people who were saying that I was making excuses. And uh, one guy said that um, the last he checked, I don't know where, where he checked this out at, but he said the last time that he checked, Floyd Mayweather was ranked number one at 154 pounds. I don't know where he got that information from. It sounded completely ridiculous to me considering the fact that Floyd Mayweather has only had two fights at 154 pounds. And there was a five-year gap in between both of those fucking fights. So how could he be ranked number one at 154 pounds when Austin Trout and Canelo Alvarez just fought? And they, they had all the belts. Canelo is a unified champion out there. So how, how the fuck can Floyd Mayweather be ranked number one fighting there one time in five years? In a five-year span. He fought there once. So, I mean, that comment right there was completely ridiculous to me. Um, Floyd Mayweather is not campaigning at 154 pounds. I think that's where a lot of people are confused. He's not campaigning there. He went to that weight to make a match with Miguel Cotto. That's the only reason why he went into 154 pounds. He didn't say he was moving out of 147 and he was going to finish his career at 154 pounds. Okay, if Floyd Mayweather was campaigning, at 154 pounds, then his next fight against Robert the Ghost Guerrero would be at 154 pounds and not 147 pounds. You know, Floyd Mayweather doesn't need to be going up to 154 pounds and then back down to 147 pounds. He doesn't need to keep doing that shit, man. That's how Roy Jones got his ass knocked out, by doing shit like that. You know, and that's why I think that the Canelo situation is a dangerous situation for him to go into. Not just because of the weight, because this kid is strong, man. He can actually knock Floyd Mayweather out. You know, I never said in my video that Canelo Alvarez didn't have a shot in hell at beating Floyd Mayweather. Never said that. Um, never said I didn't actually want to see the fight. Because that's the first thing I said when I started the video, is that I would like to see that fight. But I'm just considering the situation that Floyd Mayweather will be in going into that fight. You know, and me saying that I have a gut feeling, okay, and I said it was a gut feeling. I never said that I had a dream and I foreseen this and I'm trying to tell the future, be a fortune teller and all that dumb shit. Like some of you guys are trying to come at me like I was saying that shit, like I knew that this was going to happen. I never said that. What I said was this is a possibility. You know, if you're going to try to jump on me and, and say, oh, you're trying to be a fortune teller and all this shit, well, then what are you if you're making prediction videos? You make prediction videos and say who y'all think are going to win or lose the fights. So does that make y'all fortune tellers as well? Does, does that make you want to be uh, wizards and all this dumb shit, you know, that I'm hearing? Yeah, it's just ridiculous shit like that is why I don't even fuck around on this website no more like that. Because... Outside of me wanting to uh, spend more time with my family and things like that, because this website consumed me, a lot of the reason why I stopped fucking around on this website is because last year, the end of last year, pretty much ended like the year before, where you had uh, like seven or eight channels coming at each other's necks on a bunch of dumb shit, just all over opinions and shit. And I didn't want to be involved with that shit, man. Not because I'm scared, because I can hold my own. You know, I've put a knife to a couple motherfuckers necks and sliced the shit out of it. You know what I'm saying? And I could do it again if I wanted to. But that's just not what I choose to do with my time, man. You know, I have more important things to do than to sit around here and try to beef with people and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But I just had to make this point. You know, I had to come back and make some more points because, you know, people are acting like, you know, I'm scared to see Floyd Mayweather lose, man. That's not it at all. If he fights Canelo Alvarez and he loses to Canelo Alvarez, I don't think that that's going to affect Floyd Mayweather's legacy one bit. You know, I would give him credit for taking the fight with Canelo Alvarez because, as you know my opinion, I don't think that that's a fight he should take. So if he takes that fight, 
that's going to be huge, man. That's going to be big, big for his legacy, whether he wins or he loses the fight. You know, skill for skill, I think that Floyd Mayweather is better than Canelo Alvarez, obviously, if you go skill for skill. But why should I have to ignore the weight and all the advantages that Canelo Alvarez is going to have going into that fight? Why do I have to ignore that and pretend like it don't exist? You know, it, all those advantages are still there. I, I can't just ignore the weight because, like I said, if Canelo Alvarez was a smaller man who is going into 154 pounds, then it wouldn't be a big deal at all to me. Okay, but Canelo Alvarez is not going to top off his career at 154 pounds. If he's able to do that, that shit is fucking incredible. If he can stay at 154 pounds his whole damn career and not end up looking like Brandon Rios when he was raid drained going into a fight. If he can continue to do that, the older that he gets, that shit would be fucking incredible to me. You know, but this kid, I don't believe that that's possible for him, man. He's going to have no choice in a few years. I don't know how many, but some years down the line, he's not going to be able to fight at 154 pounds anymore and be healthy. You know, that's the point that I'm making. He's really a huge kid, man. The motherfucker's big, man, and he hits hard, and I have to consider the weight because Floyd Mayweather is going to be punching a heavy motherfucker that he's not going to be able to hurt at all, and he's going to have to depend on his pure skill to win the fight. He's not going to be able to keep Canelo Alvarez honest if he's that much heavier than him. He's going to walk right through him, you know, just like I was watching the video, um, that 78 Fight News and Vids 06, there was a great video, pretty much agreed with a lot of the points that both of them made, you know, but especially Vids 06 saying that, um, you know, Canelo is going to walk right through Floyd Mayweather's punches. He, I mean, so can you imagine how tough that's going to be for a guy who's 36 years old? I understand that he hasn't taken any damage in his career, but... It, it, that doesn't matter how many times you've been hit in the head. That Your knees are still going to go bad, man, the older you get. I mean, your legs are the first thing to go, along with your reflexes and things like that. And when you get old, that shit happens all of a sudden. You just notice that shit when you go into a fight. One night, you just look old. And that could very well happen to Floyd Mayweather. I didn't say that, you know, I'm, I saw this in a dream or none of that dumb shit, like I said. I'm not trying to tell the future. I'm just saying this is a possibility that is, is going to be too much for Floyd Mayweather. If he takes it and he loses, I give him his credit. You know, but I would like to see Canelo Alvarez fight some guys his own size. He doesn't need to be going backwards. He's doing a good thing. He did a good thing by fighting Austin Trout because he was looking like he didn't want to fight anybody his own size for a long time. You know, and I, I thought that he wasn't going to fuck with Austin Trout. I thought that he was going to completely ignore him. I mean, he walked out of the arena after the Cotto fight. So I was thinking, you know, Canelo Alvarez, he just doesn't want to fight anybody his own side. So when he actually signed to fight uh, Austin Trout, he gained a huge amount of respect for me for doing that. And he was able to beat him. You know, some people are conflicted about what happened. I had Canelo Alvarez winning by one round. It would have been a draw if it wasn't for the knockdown. That's the way I had it scored. Okay? So I give Canelo Alvarez his props, and I don't think that he should take steps backwards, back to fighting small guys again. He needs to continue the good thing that he has going, fighting guys his own size, and eventually move into another weight class and make some fights there. I mean, he should be trying to fight Sergio Martinez before he leaves. Before, you know, he's almost on his way out. That would be an excellent fight to watch. He should eventually be trying to make a fight with uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., who was talking shit about him. You know, Julio called him out and said that all he wants to do is fight small guys. You know, he, he never said shit about that. I mean, he should be trying to make fights like that. You know, um, Laura... Matrosian and all these other guys, man. Those are the guys that he should be focused on. You know, I, I understand why he wants to fight Floyd Mayweather. It makes perfect sense. I mean, if I was Canelo, I would want to fight Floyd too. It's the biggest payday that he can get anytime soon. 
and he has a good shot at beating him. So I don't blame him for winning the fight, Floyd Mayweather, but he shouldn't um, he shouldn't dwell on it so much. If Floyd Mayweather says, you know what, I'm not going to that weight to fuck with you up there. I'm just going to stay at 147 pounds and fight the Bradleys, the Petersons, the um, the Danny Garcias. You know, I, I you know I, I'm going to stick around and do that instead. If, he, if Floyd Mayweather did that, I think that that's perfectly fine, man. Right? You know, I don't think that it should be a black mark on his legacy if he doesn't want to move into a weight that he's not campaigning at. He's not campaigning at that weight. I don't think that that should be held against him if he decides not to do that. You know, but if he does decide not to fight Canelo Alvarez at 154, then he can't bullshit and, and, and tap dance around 147 and 140 and not fight the biggest challenges there. He's going to have to finish strong and fight the best of the best at those weight classes. I don't expect to see him bullshit and, and cherry picking anybody. He needs to just go right down the list in the order of the top and take them all out and retire on, on the top of his game. That's what he should do. Once again, would it be big if he goes and he fights Canelo Alvarez? Yes. And I don't think that I'm crazy for saying that it could possibly be a robbery because uh, one point that people are trying to make is that, well, he has six fights with Showtime. He's going to have five more left if he gets past Guerrero. He has five more fights left. So why would they rob Floyd Mayweather? I'm going to tell you why. Because how many mega fights does he have? Within those five fights that he has left after he gets past um, Guerrero, if he gets past him. How many mega fights is Floyd Mayweather going to have next? You know, if Pacquiao is able to come back, that's one. But I doubt that that fight is ever going to fucking happen. So I'm not even really considering Pacquiao's name in the mix. I would like to keep it there, but it's just, it's, it's pointless, you know, at, at this point. So how many mega fights does he have left? Okay, because if he fights Timothy Bradley, that's big for boxing fans. For real boxing fans who pay attention to the sport, that's a big fight for us. But to the casual fan, they're going to be like, oh, this is some bullshit. Oh, look at Floyd. Look at, look at, he's cherry picking. That's what casual fans are going to say if he fights Timothy Bradley. Because they don't know shit about boxing. The only mega fight that he has left is. Canelo Alvarez. So why wouldn't they maximize that? Because if Floyd beats Canelo Alvarez the first time, then that's it. That's that's the one mega fight. But if they make it a draw or they make Floyd Mayweather lose that fight, then guess what? They get another mega fight and a rematch and then possibly the rubber match. So how am I far fetched and sounding crazy? Uh, and making excuses for um, for saying this possibility. So that's the point that I'm trying to make. Um, I would love to see the fight. I just hope that it all turns out fair in the end. Because I think that it would be fucked up for Floyd Mayweather to take a risk so big. Because it is a big risk. You know, Canelo Alvarez is no fucking bum, man. I've been saying that shit for a while. The kid has skills. You know, and he, he uh, impressed me with a lot of the things he was doing uh, with Austin Trout. You know, he was very unimpressive at spots when he wasn't um, throwing punches and he was just bobbing and weaving. But the bobbing and weaving impressed me, man. Yeah, I didn't think that his defense was that good. You know, and, you know, head movement, that gives Floyd Mayweather problems. He doesn't like guys who move around too much. You know, you saw when Cotto started moving around and backpedaling. Um, Floyd Mayweather went back to the corner. He was frustrated. He was like, that motherfucker's running. I know you guys heard him when he said that shit. And he was missing a lot of punches when um, when Miguel Cotto was moving his head. He had good head movement. He made Floyd Mayweather miss a lot. Same thing happened when he fought Victor Ortiz. When Victor Ortiz started backpedaling and moving his head and, and, and shit like that, Floyd Mayweather was missing shots. So this is a dangerous fight for Floyd Mayweather. So I've never said that um, this was an easy fight for Floyd, you know, or anything like that. And I'm not saying that I'm scared. Why, why the fuck do I need to be scared? You know, I'm not scared of anything. I'm not scared to see Floyd lose. 
What I'm saying is, I think it would be fucked up if he goes in there to please the fans and fight a guy who's younger, stronger, who outweighs him, and actually wins, if he should actually win the fight and not get the nod, like Pernell Whitaker versus Chavez Sr. You know, if you can't understand that, then I, I don't know what else to tell you, man. I mean, that's the best way that I can fucking explain where I'm coming from on this situation. You know, you have guys who want to, you know, make videos, you know, and, and, and leave their little subliminal disses and shit like that. You know, want to be leaving the country and then coming back and all that shit on some beef shit, you know. That's all fine. I don't have time for that shit. But I just made that video to clarify a few things and explain a few things for the slow-minded people out there. With that being said, I'm about to go take a shower because that's what real men do. And I'm out. Deuce.